Were you a child of the 90s? The 1990s was certainly an unforgettable time period for us millennials in particular, as it was the foundation of our lives. There's something very reminiscent about the childhood of the American 90s kid. It brings up fond memories of perhaps simpler times. I'm Mike from List25, and here are 25 things 90s kids could do that today's kids can't. Twenty-five, passing notes during class. Before the days of hiding your smartphone under the desk to send a message to your friends sitting, you know, five feet from you, we were passing notes in class. And often, never knowing if we'd have them made public by the teacher when we got caught. It's even worse when the note getting read out loud said, do you like me? Check yes or no. Now, I actually personally had power pens, and they had all these cool little things, like one was a basketball hoop, they were pens, and you could unfold them and do stuff. And one of them was like a dart, but at the end, you could write a little note and fold a piece of paper around the dart and shoot it across the room. Those got taken away from me a bunch, especially the two uh, laser tag ones. 24, watching grunge take over the world. Okay, so present day kids still listen to grunge music. But the thing is, people of this generation don't understand the cultural significance behind grunge music and what it did to change the world. Popular grunge bands like Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Pearl Jam caused a tonal shift in society towards a more rebellious attitude. And while grunge will truly always exist as a genre, it's significantly changed from the original early 90s sound. 23. Innocently Loving My Little Pony My Little Pony has gotten a rap today for being liked in a uh, less than wholesome way. It's not considered very innocent anymore, let's say. You, you know what I mean. But back then, we could watch it as, you know, innocent kids. 22. Believing Beanie Babies Will Make You Rich Beanie Babies the stuffed little toy in different animal shapes that took the world by storm. The funny part is now, while some Beanie Babies, in the right condition, can sell for potentially thousands of dollars, most are worthless. Sorry Nuts, you, you didn't hear that buddy. You're, you're not worthless, I promise. For the most part, people in the 90s who thought Beanie Babies would make them rich were sadly mistaken. And if you want third-party cringe, just Google the image, or maybe Ian can throw it up here, the image of the two people in court splitting their Beanie Babies in a divorce. <sighs> I only had Nuts and Tank. Tank was the armadillo. I had Nuts and Tank. I don't know where Tank is. 21. Having a physical journal. Before tablets, accessible computers, phones, and other technology, we had to handwrite our diaries and journals to express our thoughts. Some people still do this for things like therapy sessions, but today it's much less common. Now most people's dear diary journal comes in the form of a Word document. I had one of those too. I had a little lock on the side and everything. I would bring it on planes. Yeah, good times. Twenty. Having a collection of VHS tapes. VHS tapes were more used in the early 90s, as it was replaced by the DVD in 1997 in the US, but remained the main way to view at-home movies and shows for the majority of the 90s. And it was always a tragedy when your tapes got taped over by someone else and you lost the original content. 19. Having whole collections of CDs and cassette tapes. Both of these are capable of recording and playing music, and both of them were around before the 90s. While both made a significant appearance in this decade, the compact disc, or you know, CD, rose to popularity in 1992 and quickly overshadowed cassette tapes, making them a victim of the times and becoming obsolete. But you needed somewhere to keep all those CDs, so we got used to 18. Having huge disc cases. Disc cases 
or fabric books that held tons of CDs and later DVDs. Come on. Oh my God, did I break mine? Oh, mine is so shot. This is so many. Oh, these are all, oh yeah, look at these CDs. DVDs were a popular way to store your music or movie collection post VHS. These came in a variety of sizes, some small enough to only hold a disc or two, some big enough to hold a hundred or more. These cases are a perfect way to keep those CDs and DVDs from getting scratched and ruined because of them always getting left in the car. 17. Cherishing original 90s movies. I'm talking the original 90s movies, most of which have seen remakes since, like The Addams Family, The Parent Trap, or even beloved animated movies like Pixar's Toy Story. We don't have as many original movies in today's cinema. In fact, remakes are becoming such a growing problem in today's film, although actually the only original one and one I just mentioned was Toy Story. Uh, Addams Family was a remake of the show and Parent Trap was a remake of The Parent Trap. You get the idea. Remakes are becoming such a growing problem in today's film industry by viewers. We just want to see some original content again. 16. Owning a Nintendo Game Boy. Sure, sure, we may have seen the variations on the Game Boy over the years, like the Nintendo DS in the early 2000s, and now the Nintendo Switch. But the Game Boy was not only the 90s version, but one of the most popular handheld gaming devices of all time. Its run went from 1989 and its release and extended past the 1990s, beginning to retire in 2004. Everybody either had a Game Boy or wanted a Game Boy. 15. Playing with Polly Pocket. The original Polly Pocket was a success with kids all around the country. The toy got a remodel in 1998 to look taller and bigger in size and was ultimately discontinued in 2002. While Polly Pocket got a revamp in 2010, it ultimately wasn't successful and was no longer sold in the US by 2012. It seems that this is a toy that was meant to stay in the 90s. Also for boys, Mighty Max. I didn't have Polly Pocket, but I ate a ton of Mighty Max toys, and that show was awesome. 14. Watching Nickelodeon Afternoon Game Shows. Legends of the Hidden Temple was perhaps the most popular of these game shows the television channel Nickelodeon recorded during the 90s, featuring a talking Mayan statue named Olmec. It allowed for contestants to experience the life of a temple raider for a challenging obstacle course. But there were other shows that kids enjoyed on the classic channel like Brain Surge, Double Dare, Nick Arcade, um, Guts, oh my goodness. Oh man, 90s Nickelodeon was amazing. Fun fact, uh, Olmec is D. Bradley Baker. So, you know, Perry the Platypus, most of every animal, if not every animal in Avatar, so. 13, having a Tamagotchi. With this classic 90s toy, Tamagotchi has allowed us to take care of living, breathing pets. Well, electronic pets, that is, so neither really living nor breathing, but you, you, you get the point. You just had to be very careful because with these living pets comes, well, no longer living pets when you ultimately forgot about them. And again, the boy version, which I just bought one. Digimon, this is the 20th anniversary edition. My Digimon just evolved. He died, actually. Oh, he's dead. Speaking of non-living pets, 12 eating the unique sweet treats of the 90s. Candy necklaces, pixie sticks, candy cigarettes. All of these uniquely 90s sweets were enjoyable to the last bite. It kept us always longing for the sweet sugar rush we always wanted. 11, staying out in the neighborhood unsupervised. This is a big one that is also notable from the 1980s, you know, see our other video. Most kids nowadays can't just roam about the neighborhood with no supervision. But for this one, is it that parents got stricter on the current generation's kids because of a rise in kidnappings? Not really. Statistically, present day children are much safer. Reports of missing children are down since the late 90s by almost 40% actually. 
only 0.1% of missing persons cases are stranger abductions. Or in other words, most kidnappings are not done by strangers, but rather someone the child knows. 10. Having Lisa Frank Notebooks the craze on Lisa Frank notebooks is not one any 90s kid is ever likely to forget. So many rainbows. These notebooks had big eyes on animals with rainbows and sparkles around them. And it was a success among kids all over the country. Also the zipper, the trapper keepers. Oh, I never had one. Man. I didn't have Velcro shoes either. Hmm. Or pumps. Man. <sighs> Nine. Reading the original Goosebumps books. R.L. Stein created childhood masterpieces out of the Goosebumps books, the first published in 1992 and the last in 1997. A true 90s creation, the original Goosebumps books were the right kind of scary that made kids love them. I have all of them. Eight. Owning Furbies. Ah, Furbies. The mystical wonder that every kid and adult asks to themselves, what is it supposed to be? The strange little plush Furbies were a sensation in a lot of children's homes during the 1990s, but they certainly gave some of us the creeps. And it's understandable why. The plush toys don't take the shape of any animal we know, and their eyes are a little unsettling. Ha, <laughs> Oh man. Seven, not getting injured by their toys. I think most of us can remember the child-sized motorized cars and trucks called Power Wheels that we could drive around in as kids. I never had one. Ugh. Most of us longed for one and the select few that had them were considered lucky. But Power Wheels went through a recall period in 1998 because of electrical components overheating, occasionally causing fires. This was a pretty big deal, as it led to child injury and house fires. They were also recalled due to problems with the wiring that prevented the vehicle from stopping. Despite the recall, power wheels that don't catch fire are still selling on sites today, like Mattel, Amazon, and Walmart. But where's the fun in not catching fire? <laughs> oh god. 6. Watching TGIF Let's not forget ABC's Friday night television block that aired classic sitcoms like Family Matters, Clueless, Full House, Boy Meets World, and many others. TGIF, or Thank God It's Friday, or goodness, I can't remember exactly which one it was, was a good time for anyone throughout the 90s. Not just kids, but adults too. It was a good time for the whole family to sit down and enjoy a night together. Five. Having a see-through landline. You could see the inner mechanics of the landline phone, and that made it a hit with 90s kids. Boy, were see-through electronics all the rage, and at first it was clear, and then you had the color ones, almost like the iMac, and the Game Boys became see-through, and it's just translucent, everything was the 90s. It was insane, you had to be there. So much translucence. Four, watching TRL. Total Request Live, an MTV show that debuted in the late 90s, discussed all things pop culture. It was secondarily used to promote celebrities, particularly actors and musicians of the time. It was a big deal in the 90s culture, particularly teen 90s culture. What is he up to these days? If you know what Carson Daly is doing, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. Three. Watching Bill Nye the Science Guy in class. Bill Nye the Science Guy featured famed scientist Bill Nye as he taught kids the basics of science. But you know it was popular when you hear the words Bill Nye the Science Guy in your head as the actual theme song because it was not only a great day when we got to watch Bill Nye in class, but the song is so catchy. Bill, 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 Bill. I think someone did a 10 hour loop of just Bill, Bill, Bill. It's great. Two, using AOL Instant Messenger. AIM was a popular messaging system in the late 1990s and sure was memorable. With AIM, although I don't, did it, did you guys call it AIM or AIM? I just always said AIM. 
You could create a profile, but it was mostly one-on-one -on -one messaging. We all remember some of the cringy things we put in our AIM profiles. I have a story about this. So, you, could, you used to be able to put away messages. So whenever someone messaged you and you weren't there, it'd pop up and say, I'm away right now. And there were, there were some that were pre-generated, but others you could, you could type your own. So I had one, because I used to play Dark Forces, Star Wars, and it would create a, you know, it took up the whole screen because it was a full screen game. And so I couldn't see the messenger. So what I did was I typed one that said, BRB playing a game that takes up the full screen. And I did that. And so I came up with that, typed it out. Weeks later, months later, whatever, my friend pops up you with the same mail. thing. I'm like, hey, why did you copy my thing? And he goes, I didn't. It's part of the, it just comes with AIM. And I'm like, what? So I uninstalled AIM, reinstalled it. Sure enough, there it was. So thanks AOL for taking my word for word away message and making it one of your own. So that's cool. Goodbye. One, having a local Blockbuster and a Blockbuster membership. Remember the sensation of finding that last copy of something at Blockbuster? It was exhilarating. The icon of the 90s had to be Blockbuster, a video rental store that was very popular in the 90s and into the early 2000s, but soon permanently closed due to the rise of instant rentals and subscription services like Netflix, Hulu, etc. As of May 2022, there is one sole surviving blockbuster in Bend, Oregon, and it's still designed to feature the look of 90s blockbuster. The 1990s was a very distinct decade, one full of its own unique styles and ideas. Kids from the 90s generally look back on it fondly and reminisce about the things we had then that were much simpler than today's times. So, what good memories do you have from the 90s? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. I'll see you next time. Same radical time, same radical channel. God, the 90s were rad. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.